Have you ever pondered the magnitude and potential consequences of a cyber attack? In this digital era, cyber attacks have become an increasingly prevalent threat, targeting everyone from individuals to businesses and even governments. These attacks can lead to significant financial losses, theft of intellectual property, and the compromise of personal and sensitive data. There's a vast array of cyber attacks that can be carried out, each with its own unique definition and method. Phishing, for example, involves fraudulent attempts to obtain sensitive information by disguising oneself as a trustworthy entity in an electronic communication. Then there's ransomware, a type of malware that encrypts the victim's data, with the attacker demanding a ransom to restore access. Malware is a broad term that includes viruses, worms, trojans, and spyware, all of which can damage or infiltrate systems or networks. DDoS attacks, or distributed denial of service attacks, overwhelm a system, network, or website with more traffic than it can accommodate, causing it to shut down. And SQL injection is an attack that involves inserting malicious code into a server that uses SQL, forcing it to reveal information it normally would not. Zero-day exploits are attacks that target software vulnerabilities before the developer has issued a fix or patch. Man-in-the-middle attacks are eavesdropping attacks where the attacker intercepts and relays messages between two parties who believe they are communicating directly with each other. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, involves attackers injecting malicious scripts into benign and trusted websites. Credential stuffing involves using stolen account credentials to gain unauthorized access to user accounts through large-scale automated login requests. And lastly, insider threats, which come from current or former employees, contractors, or business associates who have access to the network systems or data and can intentionally or unintentionally compromise them. Understanding these types of cyber attacks is the first step, but it's equally crucial to implement prevention strategies. Education and awareness, for instance, can play a significant role in training employees about the latest cybersecurity threats and safe internet practices. The use of strong passwords and multi-factor authentication can add an additional layer of security. Regular software updates and patches, along with firewalls and antivirus software, can help protect against known vulnerabilities and detect and prevent malicious traffic and software. Securing Wi-Fi networks, backing up and encrypting data, and network segmentation can all help protect sensitive information and contain potential attacks. Regular security audits and vulnerability assessments, having an incident response plan, limiting user access and privileges, securing configurations, and implementing systems that continuously monitor and detect unusual activities can all contribute to a robust cybersecurity strategy. In essence, preventing cyber attacks requires a combination of technology, processes, and people. It's not just about having the right tools in place, but also fostering a culture of security awareness and preparedness within the organization. Cybersecurity is an ongoing process that requires continuous vigilance, learning, and adaptation. It's a shared responsibility that, when taken seriously, can significantly reduce the risk and potential impact of cyber attacks.